<laughs> good morning from your favorite small business wake up guys. Hey, good morning, Lonnie. You know, would you go to battle with a bunch of generals who didn't have a battle plan? Of course not, including having one that's a backup to the first one if it fails. Yeah. Planning is not going to be today's topic. You know that because planning is worthless without execution. And that's where the rubber is going to meet the road. You know, I did a, a search on the words planning and execution, and I got five times more hits for planning than execution. And yet it's probably just as important, if not more important. Imagine my surprise. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, what can I tell you? An action, you know, just do it and follow up. And that's the key. We're going to talk about follow up. You know, there's too many things slip through the cracks because of it. So, we got, you know, we've got to answer the question, how are we going to make this happen? You know, and then that includes, of course, the planning process itself. But then, you know, must have the mechanisms. And it's the key word, systems and processes to sure that we act upon the plan. I'm sure you all have your to-do lists. Of commitments, yeah. Are you looking at your list now? Yeah, list. So let's assume- <laughs> Stan, look, like our listeners, I got plenty of items on my list. My problem is like theirs. It's that's mostly from last year or even older. Hey, true confessions, you know, and you're not alone, Lonnie. You know, since we're into transparency, hey, you know, let me share my true confessions one at one, and I'll bet you our listeners will find it quite familiar. So for me, you know, I've got all kinds of lists. I got a list of, I went to the office, I had five things to do, and I went to the office. And I did five things. But right. guess what I discovered when I left the office? The five things didn't have any of the ones I had on the list to begin with. You know, that's called like <laughs> distraction. We all get that. Stan, you know, my, lists, my lists have lists. It's like the first day of school, all full of good, good intentions to begin the new year until the first phone call or Zoom meeting. Then things are back to normal and my lists go out the window. Oh, and don't you love the kinds where we go to clients who say, do you have a business plan? Oh, yeah. Let me show you. Let me show you. And they pull it out and you look at it and you go like, so show me the ones that are done. And then they look at you with a deer in the headlight. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I've written a ton of business plans. The problem was once we matched their activities and timing with the plan, there was such a big disparity that you know, it was a total gap between their and w- what execution would be. Yeah, you know, and so, you know, we all know, look, well, how do we go off script? A, life happens, right? Yeah. And if yeah. that's not enough, then shit happens. That's right. <laughs> yep. All the stuff that we didn't plan. And, and so there's so many ways to go off part. And unfortunately, if it wasn't common, we wouldn't be having this conversation today. You know, everyone knows what we're talking about, yet how many are really taking a look at what are the things that are kind of not getting done and not being executed? So, Stan, how can we be assured that we stick to it, meaning we stay on course with our plan? Well, you know, I guess the simple way is, as we do with a lot of things, we got to look at the who, the what, the when, the where, and the why, as well as the how of the plan. So let's talk about how you can stay on track. 